Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 14, the show. We've got some more Nolan Ryan's road to the show coming your way as we again face the Iowa Cubs. Now, I faced them in the last game and it was pitiful. I mean, it was bad. Um, ended up giving up a grand slam. And so I have to face my fears and face them again. So it really did go ahead and, and prove to me that uh, having Nolan Ryan move up to AAA this early may not have been the best idea. Um, may have been a little bit too early, but you know what? Um, I'm going to have to to work with this. Now, I start the game off here with a hit. And so with what I remember from the last game, it's just like, oh, man, here we go again. So the Iowa Cubs are among one of the best hitting teams in the game. And so it really doesn't go so well as far as uh, Nolan Ryan is concerned. Give up two hits to start things off. One hit. Two heats. Ah, ah, ah. Just say it. I don't know why I had this sudden urge to do that. Um, all right. So, uh, I mean, obviously, it's just a matter of kind of working through this. Uh, it is going to be a rough go for, for this day. And, of course, you know, once I reach the majors, there's probably going to be some problems that I have there. Because um, I am kind of going with the same approach that I do have with Jackie as far as attributes go. And that is... You know, I'm going ahead and purchasing, yeah, what is going to be most helpful, but whatever is the lowest right now to kind of get that overall up here. So eventually I'm going to be focusing on, you know, the strikeout portion and everything since we are talking about Nolan Ryan, but that's probably going to be a while down the road. So there is the first strikeout of the game here for Nolan Ryan. So a good catch right there too to prevent everything from going through. Um, so just letting you guys know, um, I mean, uh, I kind of mentioned this in the Jackie Robinson video, but uh, this weekend I actually played through Watch Dogs. Um, I'm going to try to see what I can do about uh, posting a little bit more this week. Um, I do have some preps I have to make for a job interview that I have uh, next week. So I am going to have to spend some time like sitting through making a, a packet, uh, a portfolio of stuff that I've done already and things like that so you know when I'm working on something like that of course that's always going to take precedence over videos because you guys know um, I am a dad and my family of course comes first don't get me wrong I love doing YouTube but at the end of the day um, if I've got something that I need to do that could help me get a better job and provide for my family of course I'm going to be working on that more than I am on these videos so just kind of letting you guys know like if I pop out for a couple more days or something like that uh, exactly where I am but I mean I do have to play some games as well to go ahead and get uh, caught up in everything on what I've got going so you know it still might be a couple days but that's just because I'm playing and editing and stuff like that so all right so it seems like as far as uh, Nolan Ryan we've been able to calm things down here in the second inning. Sure, I've given up a hit, but overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with, with how the second inning is gone. I mean, if only all my innings would be like this. Sure, I'll give up a hit every inning and stuff like that, but, you know, if it just ends up being a single, there's really no risk. Um, ooh, curveball finally worked. Now, as far as, like, my pitches go, the curveball is definitely the least effective of what I have. I mean, you guys have seen from some of the videos that my control can be a very, very serious issue, and no pitch is worse as far as control goes than my curveball. So, I mean, it, it could just be anywhere, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, last year when I was throwing the knuckleball and stuff, just and how difficult that was to go ahead and place my pitch. I mean, of course, I understand, like, that is the whole idea behind the knuckleball is you know, to really have it move wherever, not to be able to make a determination exactly where it's going to be and stuff like that. But at the same time, I mean, at least, you know, I'd want to have some idea of where it's going. And so with with Nolan Ryan, I mean, that was probably the thing that I was most excited about is, you know, being able to have a lot more pitches that I can, I can do something with control. Um, but, you know, that's going to be a long time coming. And I understand, too, that one of the biggest things that Sony wanted to do with this game uh, as far as the attributes go, was change it up quite a bit. So that way is a lot more difficult 
to go ahead and work your player up. Now, I could still do something where I could, you know, buy training points and stuff like that and, and really kind of work him on up. But, you know, or I could just simulate a ton too. But, I mean, the problem with simulating quite a bit is, you know, something might happen. I might get injured. Um, you know, we could be missing out on a lot of, of training points and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. But, counts full. Ball four. Again, not good. But, last game, too, I think I drew a few walks. So, having just one at this point, that's okay. Earlier, you saw that double play that we had. I'm hoping that you know, I can keep forcing the ball on the ground at, at moments. Because Nolan Ryan... Obviously, is not this strikeout pitcher that we know Nolan Ryan to be, at least not yet. So, I do a good job of actually being able to work the count. I mean, it's very often that I go 0-2, just like you're seeing right here. But all the pitches, well, except that one, um, end up being balls. And the computer does a phenomenal job at watching those pitches, too. So, it really works into Nolan Ryan's pitch count. And since stamina hasn't been a major focus of mine or anything... I mean, I'm still sitting at like 65 or something like that with my overall stamina. So every one of these pitches, uh, it affects Nolan Ryan a lot more than some of the other pitchers that you're going to find in this game. On the ground. There we go. So really after inning number one, a solid pitching. Now, unfortunately for for Nolan Ryan and I guess I should say just for me we have had almost no support from our team's offense I mean you can see the scoreboard in the background I mean that that right there that kind of tells you what's going on so obviously no runs for either team so I'll count that as a victory for me but Honestly, if I pitch this game really, really well and my team does not score a run or anything like that, like I'm just going to be furious because this is better than what I thought was going to happen. I mean, sure, I'm not getting you know a huge number of strikeouts or anything, but I am making sure that we, we get the outs, and that's what's important. Because you guys have heard me talk about this quite a bit. I mean, as far as pitchers go, a win-loss record really isn't necessarily the the best way to determine the success of a pitcher because it's instances like this where I'm pitching really, really well and, you know, I could give up, let's just say one run or something like that, okay? Give up one run, but my team doesn't score any runs. I mean, you can't really go ahead and blame the pitcher for all that. I mean, just giving up one run in a game, that's pretty darn good. I mean, I'll take that just about any time. Speaking of one run, there is a home run. Now, that one was ridiculously low. I was super surprised he was able to launch that one as far as he did, especially here at the AAA level. But you know what? Nothing I can do about it. I just hope my team can go ahead and back me up. So we'll, of course, have to... Wait and see what happens. I mean, the fact that I made it into the seventh inning is actually pretty good. 2-0 count now, unfortunately. And that one's going to go into left center easily. Should be extra bases here, and it is. So with that, this is going to end up being the last at-bat that Nolan Ryan is going to have to endure through. Though, granted... I don't know. I still think I could have gotten out of it here, but I know my confidence is waning a little bit as well as my overall energy. But at least I can be happy with the crowd giving Nolan Ryan a little bit of a cheer. Gets to tip his hat a little bit to him too. So, I mean, that I'll go ahead and I'll consider to be a pretty successful performance given the circumstances. So I'm not going to get the win, that's for sure. The only thing I am going to be facing is either a no decision or a loss as Chauncey Ruff comes in. Let's just put it this way. He had a rough outing, too. Now, this is... I hate this. Like, I never have liked this at the end, where, like, the coach is just yelling at the starting pitcher like that. No. 
I don't know. I just think it's ridiculous. I don't like that. Because I mean, I seriously pitched pretty well given the circumstances. I thought. But whatever. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of this to come later on. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. You know the drill. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. But you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thanks again for watching. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.